In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to activate antivirus in Windows 10. This also works in Windows 11, but it might look slightly a bit different. So you want to go to the Windows 10 logo here, go to settings. Now scroll down here and go to update and security. So from here, we want to go to Windows security. And there's a few different bits we can go do here. So. First of all, we can do virus and threat protection. Now, what I'd recommend you doing first is doing a quick scan. I did a quick scan just now and it shows no current threats. What a quick scan is going to do is it's going to scan your whole computer for files which are potentially dangerous and it will tell you what they are and help you to delete them. Now, you can also look at different protected, um, the different things they've, they found in the past, stuff like that. Now, you can go to manage go to this one I've just clicked on here so virus and threat protection settings and this is where you turn on the antivirus so you want to turn on all of these so real-time protection this locates and stops malware from installing or running on your device next we have cloud delivered protection provide provides increased and faster protection with access to the latest protection data in the cloud tamper protection basically all of these different ones here which you want to turn on now alongside that you want to click here and check for updates on the uh, virus and protection because this will update it if they've found like no exploits stuff like that this will update to keep you up to date also ransomware protection projects folders and memory areas on your device from authorized changes by unfriendly applications this will stop people from being able to access your stuff from third parties if they've installed some weird software on your computer so you can turn that on if you want i've got this off because i sometimes need to access my computer from other locations and it will stop that from happening now you can go back here we can go to account protection here for example or you can go to firewall so microsoft firewall defender is using settings that may make your device unsafe what you can do here is you can um, press restore settings for me i have this like this because i need to uh, host things and in certain settings this does not work so I'd recommend just turning this on so have the firewall on have the private network on have this on so these are all protected here app and browser control so if you turn this on this is going to block potentially unwanted apps to keep your computer safe um, you can install this Microsoft Defender application guard this is going to protect you against malware, so this might be worth installing. you also got device security here, and you've got device health. So what this can do is it can, it can scan your device to see if you've got any issues here with any kind of breaches. And then you also have the family options here, which help you protect your kids, give you screen time, keep track of what's going on, and let your kids buy appropriate apps and games. You can set budgets, you can set the amount that they're able to buy. All that kind of stuff but basically if you just go into here this is the best place you can fit around with the antivirus in windows 10 so that's how you do it if you enjoyed this video and found it useful then please like subscribe and comment down below that it helped plus make sure to comment down below any questions you may have and any future videos you want to see and one more thing is that if you have other videos or other things you need to look at take a look on our channel because there's a good chance that we have a video on it so thank you for watching